comes the axe. Prove yourself. Search for HFN taking the troll mid. You know, getting Weeha away from this sort of TA lane. Oh, CCNC solo As kill. I say that. That's the one v one. <laughs> As I said, I liked it. But this is what's always going to happen, you know. He was winning in CS too. That shit happens. It's fine. I come top. Getting nuked down quite a bit here, Tarvo. Chasing tanking. him, they've got him. Yeah, he don't have a doppelganger yet, so. Yeah. It's like, for example, LGD. They play a lot of Queen of Pain mid, and so at least in the past. And if he wins his lane really hard, maybe he has been known to like run around and kill everyone. Zai. Kill the side lanes. Gonna go down here. One swipe from Weeha. Chance on him though from the Whirling Axis. HFN should be fine. Gets the slow. I say that. He's, he's gonna bash. try and man up underneath the tower. Okay. He doesn't find the bash. <laughs> Dude, he'd have to bash like six times there. <laughs> Top lane Tarvo as well. Getting surrounded. Oh, tick. Yeah, the pick apart. It's the level difference is the big one, especially with the traps online. But oh, CCNC is no gone on. Yeah, they've got two of them no, going from no. Zai is here to offer some sort of safety for CCNC. But is it gonna come soon enough? It's not. The shards will not save him. I played it all the time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys talk about that in the draft? Was it like... Oh, he may just be dead here unless you can get a super lucky bash, but it's not going to be the case. You see and see. I mean, it's not... lapsing in from the sideline straight in. They go on to The cold embrace is there. They get a little bit of heals, but Zai standing his ground with CCC coming back up to the high ground. They'll finish off HFM once again in this middle lane. He's going to keep chasing too? Yeah. The Why trap slow. The and unlikely to be any sort of save that could be possible for Dusters. Double kill. It's picked... Oh, you're gonna Starbuck's die. No. pretty low here. Just have to screw. It's a bit of a bait. Pike up. We'll pop the stick charges in the doppelganger. Turns towards Tarvin and has the spirit lance to finish off we'll the get kill. Both. Mm, he missed the silence, yeah. unfortunately. It was a pretty cool play, though, right? Like, they baited him. The Wyvern's here now. Uh, can't get him. Nice kill. It's 500 gold. The tower. And just try to get your item time. It's like you need some blink dagger on Ursa, you need some blink mag. Nice solo kill on the PPD. Lane as well, too. RP. Yeah. Or one wire and ult, even. Then they could just lose the game, right? Like, they just need to win one fight. We're going on to Weeha here with the impetus, the damage. Too I'm much for 33. Hand. Doesn't have a TP. No mana yet. They've got the trap set up as well in the mid lane for the slow if they want to go for it. But it looks like Pike will hold back. Maybe 33 can do it. He's still got a full tank. No, indeed, Pike just comes back in with the Phantom Rush, charges him down. He can defend it. It's a scary uh, place yeah. to be because King RD he steps up and indeed without any sort of sentries down on the radiant side he's going to be slowed up and beat down. Those traps have set up for like four kills. There as well as Dusters they look to dive. Zai will buy himself some time with the snowball. He's got no backup coming in so Zai will crumble. At the same time though CCNC are able to find the Magnus. They, if they will rush in the point when the uh, Mag has bling, yeah, that's, they should defend it. But. They've they found HFN, they've got the shards upon him. Duster taken out by the impetus from 33, and HFN has got no escape either. Optic with a successful silence, holds Zai back. Got the Mystic Flare coming down upon him. He's beefy enough to keep himself alive. Winter's Curse to hold them just to the side so they can finish off Zai. Now they'll look to turn their attention over towards 33. Skewer forward from Tamo, oh. oh, whiffs the RP. Doesn't catch anybody at all. As 33, he has got a force. Jumps down. Weehar is there with the blink follow up. Can he get the final touch? And he can't. Frostbite from PPD holds him back. He'll try and run himself away, but he's not going to be able to escape Weehar. He will fall. They do get PPD. Tarbo tries to jump into look for the skewer play. Won't find it. Mystic Flan Agent Seal down onto the Tusk. But Zai's forced to the side. Winter's Curse will cause issues here for 33 as he gets he's beaten down. down by CCNC. Buyback immediately from 33 as he looks to come back and commit for this Roshan fight. We are getting kited up a little bit by Zai and PPD. 33's back in with that buyback onto the high ground, offering the damage needed to take down Weeha. HFN also falls on the side to CCNC as he chases down and also fight with uh, RP potentially. Let's see if we are can. So, so if we chase this one down, Zai tries okay. to charge, no. but there we go. That man's arranged here now. Uh, so he gets the kill, but CCNC is there with the cleanup. Comes in. And gets the kill and return onto Weeha. Top lane, HFN trying to open up onto CCNC. Can't find the bash. PPD holds him down with the frostbite trap slow as well. They do have RP this time. And there they go. There's the jump. The ancient seal. Easy. With the magical damage burst, they have to burst through that. So if you get the jump on. There we go. Straight away. Immediately onto HFN. Holding him in place with the frostbite. The impetus from a distance will bring him down. CCNC getting the last touch. Did you get the Winter's Curse out? CCNC having to do quite a bit of damage to his own teammate Zai. But Zai. Will be fine, forced down, back to safety by 33. 
to jump forward for more as they chase in onto Duster. Meld Strike and a couple of right clicks brings him low. He gets the corner brace out, won't save him from the magical damage of the team. So, despite you saying the ward there, TP's over. He's going to try and turn towards PPD. He's got some teammates TPing him, but it's not going to be soon enough. We are. He's gone. As uh, the Greek getting him to the to him there. He heads to farm in his jungle. Feeling some safety. The smoke from Optic. Stuff. Also found oh, out he's here. He's got oh, a hex. hex on oh, the team. Okay, you got it instead oh, of the BKB right. this game, CCNC. Able to focus someone. Tarpo from this tree spot as well. Look to see if he can get a perfect setup. It's going to be the hex play from CCC. There's the jump. Gets the RP down in there. Go as well. They've got he's the down. Take CCNC out. BPD for the side though, going with the op of the Winter's Curse is there to cancel it. Hold the two of them, the Bash on Tazai that found themselves a second season. He has bought back. back. He's trying to get himself back over towards the fight. HFM with another Bash controls up. PPD has found the CM. Looking, trying to find 33, but the backup's back in for Optic as they clean up H. And now you're not going to have it. If Optic does try and fight. Still on the chase. So look towards Duster. They're trying to force the winner's curse. Rihar on the side does jump onto PPD. He'll dispatch with the CM, but there's Pika who tries to find him. In fact, Rihar turns. Just for the bash, does find it, but the doppelganger's still there. Tavo comes in, gets the two man RP. They're trying to move forward, but the hex is the there hex. from CCNC, heavily limiting the damage output of Pain Gaming. He's trying to chase forward onto Pika. Pika incredibly low, but Rihar's got him with the clap. We are, will find the kill, but the impetus from 33, the uphill oh, miss. Missed. Is it going to be enough to keep Weehaw safe? It is. He blink. gets the blink out. Weehaw will be able to get himself out of the fight. Tavo going for the invis play. They don't have detection on him, so Tavo will be fine for now. Zion on the side, chasing towards King Adi. Pycat did buy back for this. As King Adi goes for the Ghost Scepter TP out, he's not going to make it. The magical damage from the Spirit Lance and the Shards. There's the Golden Brace. We'll buy time for him. The rest of the team heads over. Winter's Curse comes down. Weehaw pops the BKB in the enraged. Turns towards Pycat, starts to get those. Fury swipe stacked up, he's looking to run, but the right click from CCNC will find him. Weehar's taken out, they're trying to chase for more optics. Slow, onto Duster, Duster. He'll drop it, Tavo with the RP. Oh. Doesn't get any of them. Gonna get hexed up again. And another kill for Optic. Tavo gone for 50 seconds. Dust Outside of the base then, indeed HFN a little far away from the rest of his team as the damage is too much. As HFN dead without buyback. Going out a little too far alone as Optic were ready to collapse back on top of him. Winter's Curse, throwing Pike out's attention to the side. PPD has been taken out. Weehaw keeping himself away from 33. Tavo goes for the skewer play onto Pycat. Pycat looking for King RD. King RD turns with the silence. They've taken the Aegis out of his hands, but Pain Gaming, they're without two of them now for 50 seconds. No buyback. Now without Duster as well. He's down for a minute. Zai. Diving in, finds the punch onto Tavo. Tavo's got the Shadow Blade. We are being kited up. The PKP, is it going to be enough to save him? Doesn't look like it, but the damage coming in from the right clicks. He'll fall. They've got the detection onto Tavo. He gets hexed up. Everybody dead on Pain Gaming and G.